Hi everyone, just a quick video I'm making to let you know that Wells Fargo is hiring for internship right now and this is an urgent hiring because they've just opened it today and tomorrow it is going to close and it may even close before if they receive a large number of applications. So the link to apply is in the description box, apply ASAP. But let me tell you a bit about how you can get your resume shortlisted and increase your chances of basically, you know, getting the internship. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your resume is very well prepped. So what are the things that you need to have in your resume? First, you need to have either Java or Python. These two programming languages are their requirements. So either have Java or Python in your resume. This is a must. Apart from that, put some good projects in your resume. So if you have backend projects or if you have AI projects or data projects, these three type of projects will really help you in getting shortlisted. So if you worked with Python libraries, if you worked with PyTorch, TensorFlow, or any other sort of Python library that is going to help you in getting shortlisted. So put that in the resume if you haven't already. Likewise, if you work with Java related technologies like Spring, Spring Boot, put that in the resume. That is also going to help you in getting shortlisted. Apart from that, if you work with data, data analysis, and especially if you work with AI, if you work with Gen AI, if you've, if you've used AI APIs in your resume, that is also going to give a boost to your resume. Apart from that, I'll be giving you a list of keywords that you can put in your resume to basically increase your chances of getting shortlisted. So the list of keywords will be in the description box. But let me remind you, do not put anything in the resume that you're not comfortable with. Otherwise, you will end up getting rejected. So look in the description box. You will be getting the list of keywords and you can learn and put. You don't need to put all of them, but at least put some of those keywords so that you have a good chance of basically getting through the shortlisting criteria. All right. Apart from that, make sure that your ATS score of the resume is good. Make sure that your resume is ATS friendly. Make sure that you have a good template. I'll be giving you a template in the description box. You can use that template if you want and make sure that your score is above 85 to 90 because they will be receiving a lot of applications. So you need to make sure that your ATS score is high. Your projects are of good quality and you have the relevant keywords in your resume. These things are going to be extremely important. And let me tell you, this is a golden opportunity, even though it's sort of like an urgent hiring because they're closing it in one day itself. Usually people give more time, right? So it is a golden opportunity and it is a rare opportunity. So you need to apply ASAP. The link to apply is in the description box. Do not wait for any time. Go apply ASAP. And before applying, just make sure that you put these changes in your resume like quickly as you can. Just make these changes in your resume and apply before it closes. It opened on 27th of July and it will be closing on 28th of July. And one more thing, I make a lot of videos about off-campus opportunities and guides on how to crack them. So if you are someone who's looking for a job or an internship, if you're a college student or a fresher, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I'll be bringing a lot more off-campus opportunities, a lot more off-campus hirings on the channel so that as soon as any opening arises, you will be seeing a video on it on a channel along with a guide on how to crack them. So make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you stay tuned. And even if you don't get this one, do not worry about it. You'll be seeing a lot more content about openings on a daily basis. All you need to do is keep preparing, keep watching the video so you know how to make your resume and you will eventually get shortlisted in your dream company. So that's pretty much it. Now go to the link in the description and apply with a proper resume with the changes I've suggested and surely you'll have a good chance of getting shortlisted. And like I said, you'll be getting a lot more opportunities. So keep an eye out for them as well. And now let's see you in the next one.